God. Glory to Jesus. Shall we pray? Our Father and our Lord, we thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, Father, for what you are doing. Thank you for what you are about to do again tonight. Be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, we thank you. 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 Glorify yourself here tonight. Oh, sweet Holy Spirit, koe koko eternal with the Lord, koe koko eternal with the Father. Thank you always for giving me the privilege to represent you. I am not the most qualified, neither am I the most anointed, but your mercy is a qualifier. Please, heal the sick today, deliver your presence. Our hearts are flame for you. And I vow not to take the glory. I vow not to take the glory. In Jesus' name, you have prayed. Somebody shout that amen as if you are ready for rich. Shout that amen as if you are ready to be reached by God. Shout that amen as if you have been reached already. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for the privilege to be here today. Thank my father and the Lord, Daddy Gio and Mommy Gio and our daddies and mommies in the region and every team coordinator in the reach for Christ for this great privilege. The Lord bless and increase you in Jesus' name. I am super sure that there is somebody here tonight no matter the condition that you came here with eradaske koti labruski adeka igafua elevre sutaki asha and the spirit date has come to that challenge and uh, hey Bayesa, hear my voice hear my voice hear the voice of the lord hear the voice of the lord and the spirit date has come to that challenge in the name of Jesus, somebody's on fire. John chapter 1, verse 5. Areko si pale gadia. Hear me, sir. Let me announce to you. Hear me, ma. When you return back home today, people will ask you, where are you coming from? Mm. There is nobody that encounter God and remain disabled. Have you seen one before? Nobody encounter God and remain the same. As you were, and hear me, he said that you encounter God or God encounter you. He said that you jam God or God jam you today. One of these two must happen. And by the time this happens, you return back home victorious. You return back home with your testimony. You return back home with your miracle. John chapter 1, verse 5. And the light shineth in darkness. And the darkness cannot comprehend it. The word there for cannot comprehend means cannot understand. The light shines in darkness. And darkness cannot understand what happened to light. It means that after reach for Christ, you enter the house and they don't understand what happened to you. You that have been failing before. Your business start booming and they don't understand what happened. You that have been single for years, no man. And suddenly you marry the best person and they say, How did it happen? You that have been jobless for years and suddenly after it for Christ, job comes. And men are asking, What happened? You that have been trusting God for visa. Hey! And after it for Christ, suddenly you receive it. May we ask you, what happened? You that have been sick before. Everybody know you have been sick. And not that it for Christ. They ask you, what happened? Why? The light shines in darkness. And darkness, they don't understand what happened. Darkness, hey, hey, hear me, sir. If they understand you too much, you don't have light. If they understand your, your life too much, you don't have light. The kind of light you are going to carry from here. Is a light that darkness cannot understand. Ha! How can you explain somebody sleep as a blunder and wake up a wonder? How can you explain somebody slept in prison and wake up a prime minister? How can you explain somebody who slept poor woke up rich? I see somebody in Bayesa tonight. Ah, yeah, 
yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. After this reach for Christ, what nobody has achieved in your family for 10 years, God is placing it in your hand. Ah, oh Lord, wherever you hear the loudest amen, let it rest there. 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 Let it happen there. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. What nobody has become in your family, what nobody has achieved in your life, I say receive it now. Say, I'm too lighted to be understood by darkness. Who can Holy Ghost. Hear me, sir. Hear me, ma. While I began to pray for this meeting, and the Holy Ghost spoke to me, he said, Son, what we are doing in reach for Christ is this we are reaching them so that they can reach others. You are not just raised to be satisfied. You are raised to be reached. You are raised to reach. You are blessed to be a blessing. You are anointed to anoint. You are prospered to prosper. Ah, you are going to be healed to heal. Ah, hear me, hear me. In the days of revival, supernatural abuse in the streets, not just in church. So somebody will live rich for Christ, see a madman on the road, and say, hey, get where? And the person became normal. The person, <laughs> and they say, what happened? He said, somebody just passed by me. That is where you have been reached. In the days of rich, where you are already reached, you are going to reach everybody in your street. Those days when the church are empty, it's over. After it for Christ, the churches are overflooded because the guys that came for it for Christ have been reached to reach others. See, I am reached to reach others. See, I will be reached to reach others. Already the kisser. Hear me. Why must it be well with you tonight? Why must you encounter God here tonight? When your life don't look like it, you can't teach it. How can a poor man teach prosperity? Will you listen? Somebody is failing work ten times. He's now writing a book how to pass work. Will you buy? <laughs> Somebody has done business several years and is failing. He now say, I, I have a seminar how to prosper in business. Will you go? Will you go? You won't. It takes a man that I have it to teach it. No one that Peter look at the guy. He says, silver and gold I have known. Such as I have, I have it. Somebody say, I have it. Such as I have, I give. Ah! Such as I have, I give. Such as I have. After this reach, you cannot say, such as I have. Ah! It must be Kamena Katia. It must be well with you before you say to others. One day when God called me to ministry, I began to pray, send me to myself before you send me to people. My life cannot be in problem and I want to lose people from problem. Now, I cannot be sick now. I want to get where? No. One day I have a ministration. I was going to teach on the power of God's word and I was very down. And I saw drugs. I saw God's word. And I told myself, even though I feel like this, if the word cannot work, why will I go and preach it? By the time I climbed the altar, the strength and energy and illy I felt was more than when I left my house. See, I am reached to reach others. Hello, sir. Why should you get where tonight? Leviticus 21, 16 to 23. Why should you be blessed tonight? Why should it be well with you tonight? Leviticus 21, 16 to 23. Why do you need light to give others light? 16 to 23. Look at what it says. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron, saying, Whosoever he or thy seed in thy generation that hath any blemish, let him not approach to offer bread to his God. 
anyone that has blemish must not do the work of God. I became scared. Show me verse 18. For whatsoever man he that had blemish he shall not approach a blind man, a lame man, he that had a flat nose, or had it is superfluous, or a man that is broken footed, or broken handed, or a crook backed, or a dwarf, or had blemish in his eyes, or scurvy, or scabbed, or had these stones broken. No man that had blemish of his seed, of the seed of Aaron, the priest, shall come nigh to offer offering unto the Lord, made by fire. He had a blemish. He shall not come nigh to offer bread to his God. He shall eat the bread of his God, both of the most holy and of the holy. Only he shall not go into the veil, nor come nigh unto the altar, because he had a blemish, that he profane not my sanctuary, for I, the Lord, do sanctify them. If a man is sick, he cannot do this work. <sighs> if a man had blemish, he should not do it. I said, God, what is this? He said, that is why they will get well in reach for Christ so they can go and heal others. Hear me, sir! You are not healed to be fine. You are healed to eat others. You are not rich to be fine. You are rich to reach others. You are not blessed to be okay. You are blessed to bless others. God said to me, if these people, now the people that are sick, do they have two heads? Answer me, sir. Answer me, man. The people who are well, do they have two heads? Is it not the same God that created them? How are some people sick and some people not well? And God said, when the people that are sick get healed, their work is now that they cannot go and do God's work very well. And I said tonight, every sick person under the sound of my voice and then that's come to it i say what and then that's come to it why it is the will of god that you do the work of god fit somebody say i'm fit ah shout i am fit say i am fit see i am strengthened see i am strong see i am not sick ay 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 a grandest skill about can you declare two minutes? Say there is light in my life. Give my generation light. See, I carry light. There were those days that the devil will come and press me in the night, and I'm a pastor. I say, No, 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 no. This is an aberration. How can devil be pressing me? How? I came to the scripture. I found the secret. You can't be pressing me when I'm supposed to release those who are pressed. He said he has anointed me to destroy yokes. How can I destroy yoke I'm part of? How can I destroy a yoke that I'm suffering from? No! And the yoke of darkness disappeared tonight i don't care the battle you are carrying financially academically ministerially maritally i don't care that challenge i don't care that challenge tonight tonight as you are hearing my voice they are destroyed they are destroyed they are destroyed. Enough is enough. Now, if you are sick, under the sound of my voice, get well. Now, now, you are blind, begin to see. You are deaf, begin to hear. You cannot walk, begin to walk. You came here on wheelchair, stand up and walk. You came here on crutches, leave that crutches and walk with, without it. You are Yakata Barakatama. I don't care that challenge. I don't. There's a growth in your body. It's dropping off now. There's a problem with your neck. It's disappearing now. There's a problem with your tummy. It's gone now. There's a problem with your head. It's gone now. You are mad here. You are here now. Insanity is checking out now. It's checking out now. Every
everything that doesn't look like God in this Bayesa ground all over the world out now in the name of Jesus. I'm not talking of what we happen tomorrow. It's happening when? It's happening when? It's happening when? Do you know why? After this crusade, you go and do the same. Hallelujah. You are reached to reach others. I will show you a woman in the scripture as I begin to bring this way close. Oh, Jesus. The power of God is moving all over this place. Mark chapter 5, verse 25 to 34. Mark chapter 5, 25 to 34. Jesus. Jesus. There is somebody here. There's, it's as if there is a, a rope that tied your waist. You can't, you can't go down, you can't go up. It's as if there is a rope that tied your waist. And it's been there for a while. It doesn't allow you to walk freely, to do the things you want to do. That rope is loosed now. Yes. Yes. Yes, it's loose now. Yes, it's loose now. It's loose now. It's loose now. Ah, Mare Kase get a kid, the broko sugia. Jesus is a kid, the broko po here. There's someone now, his scale is dropping off your eyes now. 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 The nobody you can't hear with your left ear is open now. Pump open right now. Pump open right now. You're right here. Open now. There are two stammerers here. Just check it now. You cannot speak fluently. You cannot speak fluently. You used to be a stammerer. Check it now. You begin to speak fluently. Mark chapter 5, 25 to 24. There's a woman with the issue of blood. And a certain woman which had the issue of blood for 12 years. 12 years. And has suffered many things from the hand of many physicians. And spent all that she had. I was nothing better but grew worse. When she heard that there is light, reach for Christ, light up by Esa, she came in to the crusade ground. Is that in your Bible? Is that in your Bible? When she heard that Jesus is coming to by Esa, she came in to the crusade ground. Is that in your Bible? Can you find it? What happened next? And said, if I can just hear the word tonight. If I can just hear the word tonight. Next verse. And she said. If I might hear the word. I shall be made whole. Is that you? Is that you? And straight away. Somebody say straight away. Say immediately. Say immediately. Say straight away. On the crusade ground. Not at home. Not when I go home. Say now, a problem disappeared. Now put your name and call that condition. Say immediately, this thing disappears. Show me that scripture. Mariko Caesar. And she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. Next verse. Ha ya ya. Verse 30. And Jesus, immediately knowing. The virtue left him and turned him about in the press and said, Who touched me? Sir, ma, many people were there touching Jesus. Maybe Peter was using his shoulder to touch Jesus. Nothing happened. But a touch of faith drew Vashu. When Vashu met with Ishu, meaning who is the result? The woman had issue of blood. Jesus had Vashu. He said, Vashu left me. And Jesus' Vashu met a issue. A miracle happened. There is virtue here tonight. It's not the virtue of a man of God. It's the virtue of Jesus. Nothing is going to leave me here. Neither is anything leaving my father. But Jesus is here. Virtue is leaving him. Rise up on your feet. Virtue. When the virtue, which is light, meet with your issue, which is darkness, what is the result? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. 
Everyone under the sound of my voice. Lift up your two hands. Jesus, right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Let virtue flow all through this place. And meet with your issues. Now, while you are standing there, if you have discovered you have been healed in your body, just rush out to this place. Just keep running. Just keep running. Virtue have met you and you are healed already. Just keep running. Just keep running out. Just keep running out. You came, you came here with any health condition and Jesus have touched you and you are healed already. Just come. Just come. Just come wherever you are. Come wherever you are. Yes, keep running. Yes. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Virtue has met you. Virtue is meeting issues. Virtue is meeting issues. Virtue is meeting issues. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. All over this auditorium. All over this field. The deaf is hearing. The blind is seeing. Yes. Yes. Virtue is meeting your issue. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Maratata Yagataba. Jesus. Ah. Check your bodies, check your bodies, check your bodies. Check your bodies. Growth is disappearing. Lamp is growing. Lamp is going. Lamp is going. Miracles everywhere. Marababa. Ekabababababa. Virtue is meeting your issue. Broken bones are mended. Broken bones are mended. Broken bones are mended. Kerebasusa. Virtues. Virtues. Virtue of Jesus. Meeting all issues. Meeting all issues. Meeting all issues. In the name of Jesus. Keep coming, keep coming, keep running here. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Eloma. Eloma. Let me ask that. What did God do for you? Just ask, 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 ask her. What did God do for you? Don't give them mind. Just ask them. Just mind them. Just Ushers, please ask them and let us know what God did for them. Yes, keep coming, keep coming. It was a star before. Now you can speak where? Come, come. Can you get another mic? How long have you been star Wait, wait. Get another mic for him. How long has he been star Two years ago. Ah, ah. Is there another mic for him? You have been stammering for two years. Jesus. Give him the mic. Hello, sir. Hello. How long have you been stammering? About two years ago. Two years ago. Say, Jesus. Jesus. I love you. I love you. I am no more a stammerer. I am no more a stammerer. Are you just looking like that? Give God praise. What did God do for you, man? You are healing is permanent. What did God do for you, man? Ushers, just ask them before you give them the mic. Ask them to know the condition. What's it? Daddy, he said that... She said Sorry, that, sir. I'm not daddy, sir. Yes, sir. She said that she has a fibro, fibro in her body. Fibro in her body? That when she's spraying, the teeth just disappear. Hey! How long has she have that fibro? How long? A long Twelve years now. Twelve years fibro! In her tummy, just disappeared. Shame on the stupid devil. Your healing is permanent forever. Mommy, what did God do for her? My waist with my leg. I don't feel stand like a two weeks, uh, two years. Time. You can't stand for two years. Yeah, but now I did stand. They Mama, did. jump, 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 jump. Two years. Mama cannot stand for two years. But power of God. I told you Jesus is for you. Yes, what's the next person? I wasn't having a chronic sore on my leg. I couldn't stand. You couldn't stand because what? Of the chronic sore. Right now, when I was in there, it was pain. You were feeling severe pain. I couldn't stand up. The moment in pep, I heard the voice and I stood up. I now find out that I'm able, I'm able to run. That's why I run outside. I'm okay. And the sore disappeared. Thank you. How long have you had that sore? Hello, sir. How long has she had the sore? Ever since I was 13 years old. Since you were 13? How old are you now? I'm 23. 23? A sore in your leg since you were 13 disappeared. Oh my God. Shame on the devil. What did God do for him? I was having an headache since last year and I was supposed to go for surgery this year, July, but surprisingly, I cannot feel it again. I'm no longer hot. I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Hey, my grand headache is last year? Yes. You were supposed to go for surgery yes. and Jesus touched it. Yes. It is gone. 
Hallelujah. What did God do for her? I was having abdominal pain and back pain for the past month. But when I shouted amen, it went out. Pastor, I don't have time. Just, it was a stamina. Stamina. From small. From childhood? Yes. But why you can talk? Okay. Hello? Say Jesus. Jesus. You are my father. You are my father. I am no more a stamina. I'm no more a stamina. Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. God, just, sir, just let me confirm. Let's take one or two more so that ushers can record the testimonies. We don't have time. Okay. Let's take one or two more. Just confirm. Or confirm it first. Um, since 2020, yeah, 2020, I've been having stomach pains. Then when I went to the hospital, I, I went to the checkup. Then the scan, the nurse that I was Okay. They now say that they will do me oppression. So after then, since that time, the thing was disturbing me. But I said, but what put my head, I said, step my leg into this program. Everything it is gone. Here. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Everybody, can you wave your hands to Jesus? You have not seen anything yet. When my father and the Lord comes tonight, every condition in your life, they are disappearing. And mind you, daddy, we call other call tonight. When they call that altar call, all of you that are not saved, rush out, rush out, rush out. When that altar call is caught tonight, that is the first light. When you are saved, you can go and save others. Everybody in Bayesa. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I saw a man with a broken bone. Where's that person? Are you the person? Since when? August last year. Is he a then? And now he's gone. Hallelujah. Everybody give God a shout of praise. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We bless your name. In Jesus' name we are prayed.